Hallelujah. And before we continue, I um, just want to read this scripture for um, my dear brothers and sisters. <clears throat> it says here from Psalms 139 verse 16. You saw me before I was born. Every day of my life was recorded in your book. Every moment was laid out before a single day had passed. Amen. Um, as we worship today, um, really the main um, message of our worship would be how God remains faithful despite of our brokenness, despite of our sins. And, um, you know, there will be times in our life that it feels like it's not it's not in his way or it's it doesn't feel right but just remember that um even though those trials may come but god already has given you the promise of life and he it says in his word that it was already done before we are even born so just continue to put your confidence in god because he is the God of our present, our pa even our past and our future. And all he wants for us is the best. So um, um, let's pray, Lord God. Dear Heavenly Father, Lord Jesus, Lord. You're the most holy, Lord God. You're the Lord of Lords, Lord God. This morning, Lord God, I just want to worship you, Panginoon. Because of who you are, Lord God, not because of what you have done in our lives, Panginoon. And Lord, this morning, Lord God, I lift up to you, Lord God, the life of my brothers and sisters, Lord God. As we worship you, Lord God, I pray, Lord God, that we find peace, so Lord. Though fear, so, though fear comes, Lord God, though the enemy attacks us, Lord God, but we know that in you we have peace. And Lord God, I pray, Lord God, that you set our hearts, Lord God, in worship and with the Holy Spirit and in truth, Panginoon. All of this, we lift it all up to you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.
worship.
God, that remains the same, Panginoon. Lord Jesus, thank you for giving us peace, Lord God. Thank you for showering us with your love, O oh Lord. The things, some things in your plan, Panginoon, Lord, our human brains cannot fathom, Lord God. But we will put our trust in you, Lord God, as we said earlier, Lord God. We will lay down our life in you, Lord God, and just surrender it all now to you, O oh Lord. And Lord, thank you for giving us this, this love, Lord God, in the form of Jesus, Panginoon. Love that we cannot even grasp, Lord God. We are so undeserving of this, O oh Lord. But thank you, Lord God, for giving us our identity as a child of yours, Lord God. Amen. Lord God, continue to protect, protect us, Lord God, from this world, O oh Lord. What made the world tell us, Lord God? It is not true, Lord God, but the truth is in your word, Panginoon. It is only in the Bible, Lord God. And thank you for reminding us, Lord God, each time, O oh Lord. Oh, how much you love us, Panginoon. And this morning, Lord God, just want to lift up to you the life of my brothers and sisters, oh Lord. We came here, Lord God, at your place, Lord God, to receive, Lord God, your revelation, Lord God, for today, oh Lord. And I pray for Pastor Gary, Panginoon. May you bless him, oh Lord. And may you overflow him with your blood, Panginoon, with your Holy Spirit, Lord God, as he preached, Lord God, this morning, oh Lord. And I pray, Lord God, that you open our senses, Panginoon, to hear, Lord God, your word, Panginoon. I know that it is not an accident, Lord God, that you're giving us this word today, O oh Lord. And I pray, Lord God, that you prepare our hearts, Lord God, to receive this word, Lord God. We may be hurt, Panginoon. I'm not sure, Lord God, how everyone is going to accept your word, Panginoon, but I know, Lord God, that your Holy Spirit is with us, Lord God. Amen. And that you are the one who is speaking to us, Panginoon. Hallelujah, Lord Jesus, Lord God. Once again, Lord God, we thank you, O Lord. We will give you all the praise and worship, Lord God. We give you back all the glory, Lord God. We love you, Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Amen.
Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Did you? Do you love the songs? Yeah. Amen. No. The only thing I remember with that song is His faithfulness and goodness in our lives. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Praise God, brothers and sisters. Thank you for the music team. Amen. And by the way, before, before we start the message today, I would like to call the kids. Sorry, brothers and sisters. First of all, I love God. Second of all, I love my, I love my wife. I love my family. But third, I don't love you. I love these kids. Amen? Huh? You're the last. <laughs> Amen. Come on, kids. Yes. Here we go. Wow. Look at them. Woo. God's creation. Amen. Thank you, parents, for, the, for your lives. No? For giving this wonderful gift of God, from God. Praise God for their lives. Hi. Amen. But well, I don't see little pastor. Oh, there he goes. Oh, wow. He has a new haircut. Anyway. All right. So let's all uh, raise our hands to the kids. Who's the teacher today? Mitch. Amen. And company. Joshua. Joshua is always teacher. He's always a teacher. Huh? Meron pa ba? Praise God for the life of Joshua. Huh? All right, let's all pray. Lord, thank you, Lord God, for this wonderful day that you have given us. All the creation that you have created, Lord God, is wonderfully and it's pleasing for everybody, Lord God. Especially these wonderful kids, Lord God. May you bless them. May you continue to guide them, Lord God. Not just in the church, but in, as they go home, Lord God, protect them. Give them wisdom through their parents. In here in the church, through their teachers, Lord God. I pray, Lord God, for the teachers today, Lord God, that you will be, you will give them wisdom and the patience and the love, Lord God, especially these loving children, these beautiful children. Thank you, Lord God, for giving this wonderful life, Lord God. Thank you for their lives, Lord God, and may you continue, Lord God, to be upon them, to cover them, to shoulder them, Lord God, whatever, Lord God, uh, Lord God, na kanilang pag-aaralan, Lord God, whatever the studies, Lord God, the message for today for them, Lord God, may you may you be touched to everybody, Lord God, not even the children, but the parents as well, Lord God. Thank you, Lord God, and this we pray in Jesus' name. Amen, amen. Praise God. Thank you, kids. You are now dismissed. See you later. Amen. It seems like it seems like they're growing and growing in numbers. <laughs> Be careful. <laughs> you might one time kids are more uh, growing than us. <laughs> Amen. So, by the way, thank you, Sis Geneva, for praying for me. It's my fault. I didn't. I didn't <laughs> told you that I'm not. Gonna, one, uh, gonna be the one who will share the word. But praise God for your life. Thank you very much. And I appreciate it. Today, it's my rest day. Amen. Amen. So before, before I call the person who will speak today, I would like to ask, before, before I ask someone, I just want to thank God for the past weekend weekdays, weekends. First of all, for the VBS, Vacation Bible School. It was, grabe, it was successful. I didn't do anything. Like I said, like I've always been saying, I didn't, I didn't do the, I didn't do this. Praise God for the life of Sis Joyous. Sis Joyous, stand up. And stand up all the workers, the helpers, stand up. Come on, don't be shy. Alam ko, ang dami nyo. Ang dami nyo, go ahead. There, see? Wow, how amazing God is for all of us, right? 
His faithfulness in all of us. Praise God for your lives. Because of the children, yeah, Friday, Saturday, Thursday, Friday, how many children attended? More or less? Wow. See, uh, see that? And most of them are new, right? Praise God for their lives and for your lives. Continue doing that. You're doing that for the Lord, not for the church, not for me. For the Lord. Amen? Thank you for your life. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Second of all, praise God for the men's retreat. It's not, I'm just going to say, it's not perfect, but it's beautiful and wonderful. Amen. Praise God. I would like to call, I would like to call the Dr. Jun to stand up for leading the men's. And to all the helpers, come on, stand up. Brother Arnold, are you here? Brother Arnold, stand up. Come on, Brother Jesse, stand up. Grabe. Brother Rex, stand up. Come on, with the music team. Grabe. All of you, you gave, their, you gave your all. I was so blessed. Thank you, Brother Doc Jun. Thank you. Brother Arnold, thank you for the wonderful blessing. Amen. And the wonderful food that we have. It's overflowing. Thank you for your lives. To God be the glory. I believe, uh, I would like to call uh, Doc June. Doc June? Yeah, come on. Uh, just, just for you to know, Brother Doc June is handling the uh, one of the life group, but uh, he's handling also the men's. Amen? Captain. Parang maano ko, Pastor. Nakodas pa ako. Children of God's always ready. Alright. Amen. Praise God. Uh, so, good morning, uh, ladies and gentlemen, mga brothers in Christ. Uh, uh, I'd, I'd like to honor God. Amen. Our Abba Father in the name of Jesus Christ and His Holy Spirit to the highest level. Amen. I know He's our Lord of the Lords, King of the Kings. Uh, we thank you. Uh, we hope so much to be grateful uh, today. Uh, just by awakening up today, giving us uh, a wonderful uh, weather. Amen. Although it's, it's just uh, the right uh, right weather. It's not hot, it's not cold, it's not raining. It's just right so thank you Lord for that we thank you for the lives of all the people here in the church sabi nga ni pastor we had uh, a wonderful time it's not a perfect uh, uh, retreat but it's it was wonderful uh, filled with uh, laughter anything no uh, masaya with the spirit of our Lord uh, guiding us. Uh, so, uh, aside from that, dun sa retreat, we also had uh, still the energy, God giving us the energy in the afternoon by uh, playing some uh, basketball. We have still the, <laughs> the energy. So, salamat mga brothers for the, for the exercise. <laughs> Uh, Patrick as our coach. <laughs> uh, I think uh, it it will be uh, it will going to be a regular. I think twice with the president there, <laughs> President Joel. Twice a month para to maintain ba yung tone ng katawan energy. So nga kahit na. Masakit ang katawan, gaya nga ng ano, ano, buhay natin, may masaya, mayroong ano, uh, hirap. Si, uh, we're still gonna be grateful to our Lord, Abba Father, in the name of the Lord, Lord Jesus Christ. So, with that, uh, Pastor, salamat po. Thank you. Thank you, Brother Dr. Amen. By the way, we forgot, it's, it was successful. Amen. Praise God, no? And... This is the first, the first men's that we had, I believe, or almost 28 men attended. Amen. Wow. Praise God for their lives. Yeah. We, 
Nag short podcast nga kami sa hotel pero praise God for uh, brother Arnold for giving us a discount. Amen. Yes. Not all the time, okay? God, by God's paper, okay? Uh, sabi nga, sab, uh, uh, Arnold told me, oh, it's okay, Pastor. Tomorrow I'm I'm I'm, I'm already fired anyway. So, <laughs> it's a joke. It's a joke. But I know. Praise God for your life, brother. Huh? God bless all of you, and. I am blessed with all of you. This morning, I want to give up. I want to, to, the Holy Spirit speaks to me. I'm thankful for your lives. Amen. It is not because you're following me. It's you're because you're following God. I am. I am. I am just. A she- I'm your shepherd, but I don't own all of you. I'm just a caretaker. But I love you all. Amen. Thank you, brothers and sisters. Amen. Praise God. Praise God. So, before we call on the, I know it's a uh, uh, suspense, na, I would like to call two person to give thanks to the Lord. Anyone? Anyone? Brother Eric? I just want to give thanks to uh, the Lord. I... Uh, you know, when I was worshiping here today, I, I was listening to everybody here singing. And I was so blessed because uh, I really believe that, you know, the fruit that we're seeing here, of uh, the growth and the kids and and all these things, is because of your hearts. Amen. Because Amen. of uh, your heart to know God and, and, and to follow Him. And, and the hunger here is just so uh, refreshing. To see, so thankful to uh, just be a witness to that, and uh, I really believe that God has a heart for the Filipino people. Amen. I really believe that He is. Uh, he honors humility, and He honors hunger. So uh, just keep going, keep going, because uh, I think you're on the right track. And uh, I want to thank God for Pastor Gary uh, and all the people who helped at the retreat yesterday. Amen. Awesome. It was really awesome to get to know some of you guys, spend some time with you guys. And again, what I really notice is uh, the fellowship, the, fe- the, the unity, the, the friendship uh, between all the, all the men. Very nice to see. That's, again, that's, that's a, uh, a sign of a healthy church is to see the unity, to see the friendship, to see the, the after hours activities and, and, and fellowship. So I just want to thank God for that, and uh, just want to thank God also for the worship team. Uh, They do such a good job in uh, helping us enter into the presence of God, and uh, just many, many things to be thankful for. God is good. He's good all the time. Amen. 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 By the way, uh, Brother Eric attended uh, yesterday, uh, the other day and yesterday. He's the only foreigners there. Oh, no, we are the foreigners. He's the foreigners. <laughs> Praise God for your life, brother. Praise God for your life. And before I call, I, uh, I call uh, someone, thank you for all the wives for giving me their videos. I know it's hard, but praise God for all of you. Or all of you. You didn't miss a thing. They were, they were surprised. Amen? Thank you for your lives. Hallelujah. Thank you. So, one more. Oh. There you go. Let's go, let's go. Hello, Bob. Uh, uh, I'm just thankful and blessed for, for uh, yesterday. Uh, that night, uh, we had our uh, little talk. Friday, po. Friday, Friday. Friday, uh, Friday. Friday, Friday. Friday, Friday. Uh, I was just thankful and blessed that uh, I was part of the uh, fellowship po. and uh, there was just so many blessings that came to my life and I just want to thank God for that. Uh, and also, uh, uh, I will never let go of this and uh, I said this uh, Friday, uh, let's go forgiven! <laughs> Okay. For me, I really 
praise and thanks God that even though it's just like this morning we have some arguments with my husband, he rebuked me, God used his team, that indeed really if you, what's this, if you just listen, I said, Lord, I will not go to church anymore because it's hard to stand in front because of the tithes and offering today. I said, but I said, Lord, I need to go. I will not do this for myself, but I will obey you because you love me so much. I will miss whatever there in the church that somebody who will preach or the worship and the fellowship of the brothers and sisters. Indeed, God used someone to teach you, and mostly your partner, your husband or your wife, but I really praise, praise and thank God because uh, we need to be humble, and I asked my story to my husband. Then I told him I love him. Then I really, really love him. Oh, no, I love him as my partner, and I love him because he's my brother. Uh, then, most of all, I really praise and thank God because I had. <laughs> My term, I have my term meniscus. I have my MRI last year. My client told me that because he works as a, a radiologist, he reads some of the scans of the, the patient, and he told me, Alma, it will not heal. I told her, no, I'm praying all the time that God will really heal me. I used my knee supporter for all, more than a year. Then I really praise and thank God that when I have my leave, I really found out that God really healed me because I walked for like more than two hours and it doesn't hurt at all. So, yeah. it's just like, Lord, thank you so much that indeed if you just use your hands to lay whatever pain in your body, because God says in Deuteronomy 15.10 that whatever your hands put into, there is anointing and it will prosper. And glory to God for that. Amen. <laughs> Praise God. Thank you, Sis Alma. I know you didn't fight with your husband. You fought with the enemy. John 10.10 10 is here to kill, steal, and destroy. He's just a roaring lion ready to devour you. Amen. Our struggle is not by flesh and blood, but the dark forces. Amen. Praise God for your life. No, So I know without... You're excited. You're excited this is gonna preach for today. Praise God for this wonderful daughter of Christ. Amen. I met her probably months months ago, but I God spoke to me with her life. No? Am I I'm just gonna call her. Come on, sis Nels Perez. Oh, uh, you can call her my mind. Amen for her life. Uh, for some of you, I believe all of you know her. I believe some of you doesn't know her. Yes. My my joined us. My my when did you join us? Last year. Last year, but pretty much God used her. She's been uh, been partnering with uh, Sis Mitch for, with the prayer team, and I saw her heart. And I know it's I didn't saw her. God saw her heart through through the Holy Spirit. And I asked her, Sis, do you want to share the word to the people? I know you've been sharing for the for the life group. For the uh, like how many months now, but I know God has something for her to share to you, cause He shared it to me. Now for her life, so, like I said, anyone can stand in this pulpit. Anyone can stand in this pulpit, but only God can approve. And I believe God approved this Amen. through me. And I want you to hear the message today. Because last time the message we had, I believe the self-control, the encouragement, and how pleasing God's creation. Amen? Do you believe God's creation is for us? 
Amen. Because God created everything before He created man. So that the man will pleasure, will, will enjoy the cre God's creation. Because he, sa he seated and he, what, he did, what did He say? It is beautiful. It is perfect. That's why, brothers and sisters, you are created, you are fearfully and wonderfully made. Amen. Amen. So, I would like to pray for Sis Mai Mai. Pwede ka na, Mai? I know it, it took a while. Huh? I'm just going to get rid of your uh, nervous, uh, that's, don't worry about it. Stand here as she's speaking to God. Amen. Praise God. Let us all raise our hands for her. Hallelujah. We just want to thank you, Lord God, for the life of Sis Mai Mai, Lord God. Thank you, Lord God, for accepting this calling, Lord God. I pray, Lord God, for her life, Lord God, that you continue to bless her, continue to give her wisdom. As she talks in, the, in front, Lord God, may the people see you, not her, Lord God. Hide her behind her back, Lord God. Make you make her shine, Lord God. Make, you, make her shine on you so that the people won't see her, but she will, they will see you, Lord God. And what the message, whatever the message she will share to us, Lord God, may it impart it in our life, Lord God, as we go home and cherish your love and your creation. Thank you, Lord God, and this we pray in Jesus' name. Amen, amen. amen. Praise God. All right. Good okay, thank you. Thank you, Pastor. Uh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, so, I'm Mai Mai. Yeah, uh, uh, um, last year, um, I had the pleasure of joining the church to the life of Sis Mitch and Sis Jingai. You know, I met them in school, um, same community kami, so I na there's Filipino in the area. And so Sis Mitch invited me to join. So prior to that, um, I was just listening to sermons um, and reading the Bible. So I, I didn't really parang go to church. And so I, I pray that God will lead me to church. And so I'm, I'm just grateful to be here. Amen. Um, so, yung baptism ko po is last July 15. Um, when we had a family day, yung sa Win family day. Um, I was looking forward for that day because um, yung talaga yung time na pinagpray ko kay God na bigay niya sa akin. And nalala ko when Pastor Gary was about to submerge me in the water, the first thing that came to my mind is parang complete submission kay God. Amen. And I said that parang I will serve you. Uh, I'll, 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 I'll choose you above everything else. And God na um, yung gamitin niya ako, kung ano yung purpose niya, and uh, that I may be able to help in the advancement of His kingdom. Amen. And so, yeah, and then I find myself here um, a little nervous, pero sabi nga ni Jesus, di ba, um, my power is me perfect in weaknesses. Amen. And so, um, whenever we are weak, kung saan tayo mahina, sa kanya tayo palalakasin. Amen. And so, yan yung magiging testimony natin ngayon. Okay, so, um, yung lesson natin ngayon is about the beauty of God's creation. So, one of the basic questions sa buhay natin is where we came from, what are we doing here, and where we are going. So, maraming accounts no, on how everything began. Um, and I remember, di ba, in, in Filipino, sa Tagalog, merong si malakas, si maganda, namatay, naging bundok, and all that. And even sa science, there's just a lot of theories. No? Yung Big Bang Theory, kung saan merong sumabog. Tapos, yung gas particles, they formed into something. Um, until, from that small cell, nag-evolve siya, di ba, yung theory of evolution where kiniklaim ng science na we all came from apes. Pwede niyo namang tingnan niyo ang katabi niyo. <laughs> and confirm. May <laughs> similarity. Negative, negative. Sige, no, it's not. You are created in the image of God. Yeah, we are created in the image of God. So, you know, um, the theory of evolution and the Big Bang theory as of this point, um, remains a theory. Kasi hindi siya conclusive, hindi siya proven, hindi siya law na masasabi natin yan yung totoo. And so, the Bible paints a beautiful picture of how life began. Um, and time and time and again, no, yung science just confirms 
what was written in the Bible. And one of it is yung Job 26.7, di ba? Yung sabi dito, He spreads out the northern skies over empty space. This is, he suspends the earth over nothing. So, yung book of Job is believed to have been like the oldest written book in the Bible. And it was written 500, 500 years before Jesus Christ. So, long before na nagkaroon ng space exploration, long before na invent yung telescope, long before nalaman ng humans through Magellan, di ba, na umikot, na round the world, um, there, there's, there's this um, mga sayings, and there's this verse sa Bible, the truth na yun. Um, so, we will be looking into um, today, no, um, various um, verses. We'll be looking into various verses sa Bible um, where it talks about the beginning. So Genesis 1.1 tells us that in the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. Psalm 33.6 By the word of the Lord, the heavens were made and all the stars by the breath of His mouth. For He spoke and it came to be. He commanded and it stood firm. The same way sa Psalm 103, Know that the Lord is God. It is He who made us. And we are His. We are His people. The sheep of His pasture. And lastly, sa Revelation 4.11, You are worthy, our Lord and God, to receive glory and honor and power. For You created all things, and by Your will, they were created and have their being. So throughout, um, throughout the Scriptures, uh, throughout the Scriptures, um, Nandun nakasulat talaga kung sino yung nag-create sa atin. Um, and so, from Genesis to Revelation, the, the Bible talks about it. And so, we will be looking into yung account sa um, Genesis, no? Because dito talaga naka-detail on, on how God created. So, from Genesis, um, the, the first chapter of Genesis talks about yung day one to day seven na create, na create ni God. So, first, Yung separate ng light from darkness. So, and God said, let there be light, and there was light. God saw that the light was good, and He separated the light from the darkness. And God called the light day, and the darkness He called night. And there was evening, and there was morning the first day. So, it almost appears that the presence of God at first brings light, no? Kasi kung titingnan natin, day 4 pa nagkaroon ng sun, ng moon, and heavenly body. So, the mere presence of God really gives us a, a view na siya talaga yung light of the world. So, day 2, so verse 6 to 8, He separates the water above from the water below. So, ito yung, um, um, what do you call now, the ano, water cycle, di ba? Yung Ecclesiastes 1.7, natutunan natin sa science, All streams flow in the sea, yet the sea is never full. To the place the streams come from, there they return again. So, Diba yung, yung concept ng water cycle on how God created this one, precipitation, either through rain, through snow, through hail, and then it come, comes back to the um, streams and rivers, and then it goes up again, mag-evaporate hanggang sa mag-condense. So, paulit-ulit lang, diba? sabi sa Ecclesiastes na the streams flow into the sea, and yet the sea is never full. So, according to NASA, yung water cycle is an extremely important process because it enables the availability of water for our living for all living organisms and regulates weather patterns on our planet. If water didn't naturally recycle itself, we would run out of clean water, which is essential to life. So, dito natin nakikita na God did not only create us, but He created an environment sustainable enough para na patuloy tayong mabubuhay uh, through this water cycle. So, um... Yung next na mga days, so sa day 3, verse 9 to 13, that's when dry land appeared and produced vegetation, and God saw that it was good. Sa day 4, verse 14 to 19 is, let them serve as signs to mark sacred time. So, dito na can create ni God. God created the, the sun, the moon, the stars, and the heavenly um, plants. So, dito na natin, He allows us to be able to tell time. Kasi through the sun, nakikita natin nag-rise yung sun and then it sets and rise and sets. So, um, doon nag nagkaroon ng concept of time. Um, so, when I was a little girl, nangalit pa ako, di ba? Um, 
I was so fascinated to watch the stars in the heaven, especially the province. Um, when there's not a lot of city lights, when it's all, all so dark, you would actually see the vastness of the sky. It's so beautiful, ang andaming stars. And oftentimes, we would see a lot of shooting stars, falling stars, and sasabihin, oh, mag-wish ka na. <laughs> uh, and um, ngayon, di ba, nalaman natin na it's not really shooting star or meteors, but now it's like meteor, it's like rocks na nagpo-fall sa earth. It's too fast that it burns up before it reaches the earth. So, but it, but you know, to the naked eye, it's, it's really beautiful. And to think na God puts that friction, puts that, um, yung air particles na yun, ano na lang kaya kung wala, di ba? What happens to us? If say, for example, hindi natin, ano yan, hindi natin na-realize ang mga protection that God uh, puts in our world of how life is possible. Um, so, yun, but now it's difficult for us to see because of, of so many things that's happening now. Um, as, as we read in this verse, Psalm 1474, He determines the number of the stars and calls them each by name. So, according to Google again, the number of stars in the heavens, in the observable universe, is about 200 billion trillion stars. So it's two followed by 24 zeros. And these are just estimates. These are just um, the thing na makikita lang ng, ng telescope currently, ng, ng powerful telescope na meron tayo. And our sun is just one of that 200 billion trillion. Now, there's just so many beautiful things in the universe. Yung aurora, yung dancing lights, how we are able to see it sa, sa northern hemisphere, di ba? Um, so, yun. So, we, with the advancement of science, yung sa James Webb Telescope, which is currently, na inilabas nila yung pictures, we are able to see how beautiful the universe, but it had been there all along. Ngayon lang natin na-discover. So how much more, di ba? How much more the other places that God created para sa atin? And so in here as well, sa, sa story ng universe, makikita natin yung importance ng distance of the sun from our earth. Sabi, if the, earth, if the sun is too near sa earth, it's, it's gonna be too hot for us. And just like yung concept of water cycle that we have talked earlier, if it's too hot, the water will evaporate too quickly that it doesn't have uh, a chance to turn into liquid or other state which is essential to life. Um, if it's too far away naman, it's very cold, um, life on earth will not be possible. So God placed, nakita natin na God just put a right balance just for us to be able to, you know, experience, di ba? Very fragile ang buhay natin kung tutuosin, di ba? Na, Mama, tumaas lang ng ano yung heat, may heat stroke, may ano, yung madali yung very fragile. It's like a smoke, sabi nga, that appears for a little while and vanishes away. Um, and also, yun din, yung importance of the moon, sa distance ng moon from the earth, because it's the one that controls the tides. So, gravity, kapag ka masyadong malapit or malayo, Magkakaroon tayo ng tidal wave every day. So, life on Earth is not possible. So, there's so many other th things, no? Um, the Earth's rotation, the elements, kailangan tamang, tamang combination ng elements, carbon dioxide, oxygen, phosphorus, nitrogen, all that stuff. Um, so, in here, if we look at Google, Pero I try to look at for things that what will make life on earth possible. So what makes earth suitable for life are, are those things that I've discussed earlier, yung distance, yung importance of light, yung ozone layer, yung favorable climatic condition. Um, there's this more or less circular orbit, tectonic plates, magnetic field, all that play a role on how um, life can be suitable for living. And then, so this, I, I, I searched, na sa lottery, if you, if you um, buy lottery, there's only one out of three million chances that you're gonna win a lottery. Dito, mega million, US. <laughs> so sa Sweden, 
mas malaki yung chance mo. There's one out of 139 million. So, ibig sabihin, <laughs> if there are 139 million people na magtataya sa, they're, they're gonna buy a lot of ticket, you you only have one lang yung chance mo that you're the one who's gonna be chosen as a winner. So, it's very, very slim, di ba? It's very, very slim. I remember I, I was working sa lottery, uh, I was doing audit, and even the people, employees who was working on that lottery said they, they don't, uh, they don't bet because they know the chances is very slim for the for them to win. So if you win a lottery, talagang lottery, it, it was meant for you, parang ganon. So it's it's very small chances. And yet, sinabi dito, the odds of life on Earth, the possibility of life on Earth is one out of trillion trillion. And that's it's it's easy to ano pa yun, It's easy for us to to think of it. Ah. So we can say that. Life on Earth is very, I mean, it's impossible for it to be happening by chance. It has to be, there has to be an intelligent being. There has to be someone so powerful to be able to create all this for us. For to be able to make our life possible. Um, so, gaya din dito ng car, di ba? For, for a car to work, for a car to move, the parts has to align. Um, may break. May mas <laughs> makina hindi ko alam sorry may mga kailangan mga kung ano anong mga kailangan na alala kasi Jomar kasi nagpabili ng brake pads eh. hindi ko naman alam kung ano yung mga terms but then yeah yung kanan de ba hindi naman yan yung mga parts ng car tinapon mo lang and then yun na gumagalaw there there's got to be someone designing it there's got to be someone intelligent enough to know how the the parts will fit in order for it to work. So, so yun. Um, so, we go here sa day five. So, sa day five, um, makikita natin na before niya create yung mga beings, um, he established the environment first before he created the living animals and humans. So, day five, verse 20 to 30, God created the creatures of the sea and everything living thing with which water teams and that moves about it, it according to their kind. And then he said, uh, be fruitful and increase in number. Just the same way in day six, verse 24 to 31 of Genesis chapter one, the livestock, the creatures that move along the ground and the wild animals, each according to its kind. And then that's where God said, nah, let us make mankind of our image in our likeness so that they may be rule over the fish in the sea, the birds in the sky, over the livestock, and all the wild animals. So it was during day six when God saw all that he had made, and it was very good. There was evening, and it was morning, it was the sixth day. So, you know, the, the first six of creation, doon na ginawa ni God yung lahat ng mga living thing. So, some of you may have been to New York. No, I've never been to New York. <laughs> so, but I've read in the article... New York <laughs> <laughs> Um So, in New York City, during rush hour, sabi nala, um, the subways roaring, elevator whizzing up and down, skyscraper, cabs, so maraming tao. People are humming in and out of the buildings, over bridges, across streets. And it said that from 10 stories below the street level to 180 stories above, it's a dynamo of activity and complex network of electrical and telecommunication systems. So it's a very busy place, uh, New York, especially during rush hour, na people have to get into something, have to do their chores, and everything else. But the article that I've read says that there is something staggeringly more complicated than the New York City rush hour. And that even yung mga evolutionary, evolutionary scientists confirm, and it is on a single human cells. What we're made of, human cells. It's, it's when, long before the microscope, when we, they look at yung mga composition ng body natin, it's more of like, ano na siya, parang itlog na, there's an egg, and then there's an egg yolk nucleus. But then when they invented a powerful uh, microscope, there they were able to see that there's a CT, just that particular cell. And our cell is made up, of, in our body, an average body is made up of 
100 trillion cells uh, functions like a walled city. So iba iba yung ano niya. Depende sa weight and size and size ng cells. It 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 kumbaga they, they work together for us to be able to to do this to be able to think, to be able to eat, to be able to, be able to do a lot of those things. So even with the advancement of science now, it's very difficult to produce life in a laboratory. Parang hindi siya possible. There's got to be a lot of things, a lot of things to consider. So even our human brain is amazing that way. Um, so when God created the universe in, Ge in Genesis chapter 1, we're able to see yung, yung power and might ni God. He commanded and he, and he spoke and then it appeared. But when in chapter two, when he created the first human being, it was very special. It, it's very intimate. It's it's not just something na sinabi niya, which is kaya niya naman gawin. So in here, if we read Genesis chapter two verse seven, then the Lord God formed a man from the dust of the ground and breathed through his nostrils the breath of life, and the man became a living being. So dito natin makikita na kung parang mas may nag effort si God, kasi talagang he Kumbaga, hinulman niya ng, ng kamay niya, and then he breathed on his nostrils. And he said that, you know, let us make man in our own image. So, dito, we as humans, we are capable of discerning. Meron tayong conscious thought, conscious thought. Meron tayong ability to love. Meron tayong ability to appreciate. No? Just unlike sa mga animals, when they, parang kain ng sila, metabolism and all. But as you, humans, we have the ability to appreciate things, the sunset, the beautiful things that God created for us. So it's it's very different, no? And dito sa verse 18 to 20, the Lord God said, It is not good for a man to be alone. I will make a helper suitable for him. So now the Lord God had formed out of the ground all the wild animals and all the birds in the sky. He brought them to the man to see what he would name them. And whatever the man called each living creature, that was his name. So the man gave names to all the livestock, the birds in all the sky, the sky, and all the wild animals. But for Adam, no suitable helper was found. So dito nga mapapansin natin na para mga binigyan din si Adam ng option na, oh, ito yung mga animals, bibigay ko sa'yo. But then Adam himself thought na, ay, hindi, hindi sa suitable for me. There's got to be someone else. Hindi yung mga animals, hindi na to uh, suitable for me. And that's when he created yung si Eve. So when God created the Eve, um, the Lord God caused the man to fall into a deep sleep. And while he was sleeping, he took one of the man's ribs and then closed up the place with flesh. Then the Lord God made a woman from the rib he had taken out of the man and he brought her to the man. So similarly, no, when God created the woman, he took it out of the man. Pwede na kung, kung tutuusin, God doesn't need a rib in order to create a woman. Given that he created the universe, he created everything else. He could have just said, na, oh, let there be a woman or kanyan. But no, he created the woman specifically out of the rib of the man. And, um, and I remember us discussing this during the LG meeting then about the differences between man and woman. Because oftentimes, iba yung personality, how we live, how we decide, is usually very different. But then we were created to complement each other, and that if we both work together, it's, it becomes one. Amen. So, yun yung yung um, wisdom na ginawa ni God, no? For us, to, he created us, and at the same time, he created us carefully and uh, personally that way. So, yun. So, um, so the next one here is, yeah. So after he created, um, from day one to day six. God look back on everything and he sees that it's very good. It's very good. It it without flaws, it's perfect, it's complete. Walang walang halo. And, but then later on we find we found out na because of sin, the bad the decay came in, imperfection, lahat na. But then if we see yung goodness ni God, do not feel yung love niya sa atin. If we watch the mga Discovery Channel, if we watch the mga dita, yung how how different the animals, how they they um, mate, how they eat, and, and stuff like that. So, yun. Um, so dito hindi pa nagtatapos actually yung day. By day seven, 
chapter 2 to by the seventh day god had finished the work he had been doing so on the seventh day he rested from all his work then god blessed the seventh day and made it holy because on it he rested from all the work of creating that he had done so dito di ba na ma, ma, makikita natin na si god nga nagpapahinga tayo pa ba di ba uh, through this god provided us a template. No, binigyan natin tayo ng template na kailangan work, 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 rest. Work, related. Yung tira na ako. Hindi, pero it's a good reminder, no? Because I, I remember working like that also. When I was starting out, when I was working sa audit, nalala ko sa SGB dati. Talaga nagpatayo na ng shower yung company namin sa office. Because for, walang uwian pag ano, pag, um, pag audit season. Tapos, pag audit night time, kanya-kanyang latag ng balik. <laughs> para kami, it's like, ano, it's like, um, parang mga homeless doon. Um, so, so yun, ano, God is very, ano siya, there's a lot of wisdom. No, oftentimes, we thought we all too know well, na alam akala natin, dapat ganito, we have to be in control. But actually, God created rest also for us eh. because uh, yung rest is um, a time for us to really parang replenish. Especially nowadays that we are living in a 24-7 society, di ba? Dati, long before, ang work day shift lang. But nowadays, my night shift na. <laughs> Wala. And, and I find na oftentimes yung ano din, like fast food, di ba? I, I don't know why, but it seems like life is easier now because of the past things. You get it immediately and stuff like that. But at the end of it all, why are we so tired still? Yeah. I find it so amazing. Actually, yung wisdom ni Garden about, you know, when, when you get everything na mabilisan, parang nagiging impatient din tayo. I remember before, um, when you need to watch yung mga movies, you have to rent it out sa may tindahan. Yes. Yeah, and, and, yes. and you have to wait. You have to wait. You know, ah, available. Is this available? Yeah. And then they would be like, ah, hinirap pa ni, ano, ng kapitbahay. <laughs> or hinirap pa ni, ano. So, yeah, it, it actually builds anticipation, di ba? It, it builds in us patience to wait. But now, when we watch Netflix, parang, just in the middle, oh, I don't like this. I have to find another one. Yeah. <laughs> which is which is true. So we, we have to be mindful of that because God is telling us na you have to be stay alert because you know the days are evil. So you have to always parang um, discern. Um, so you know, so the importance of rest, Peter. So. Um, the importance of rest. Yeah. <laughs> rest, rest. Um, by allowing our bodies time to recover, rest helps prevent injuries and improve overall performance. Based on science, it also aids in muscle repair, reduces inflammation, and supports a healthy immune system. Additionally, rest helps manage stress levels. Stress can also negatively affect our mental and physical health. No, so helps um, helps lower our blood pressure and contribute to our healthier heart. So, but it's also during rest time that we are able to reflect and acknowledge God's blessings sa buhay natin. Uh, replenish yung lakas para makaserve pa tayo ulit. And sabi ko nga, di ba, oftentimes with our busy schedules and with a lot of things that we're doing, hindi natin na-appreciate talaga yung ginawa ni God for us. No, even just as I've told you with regards sa sa ano, sa meet your, di ba? Or sa the chance to breathe every day, the chance of good health, uh, a day na para to thank God na binigyan na tayo ng life to be able to preserve it. And, and with that, um, actually, nasa conclusion na. So, <laughs> in time ba? In time ba? So, in conclusion, what we've learned about the story of creations is that God, first, God is all powerful. Amen. Yun yung sinabi sa Genesis 1. God is full of wisdom. He is powerful. He is mighty. He's a great mathematician. 
is very accurate and creates balance in everything, diba? And on how he created yung, 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 uh, yung balance, um, he's the alpha and the omega, the beginning and the end, just like yung sa song kanina ni Genesis Geneva. We cannot fathom the vastness of the universe, nor we can imagine the smallest particle, and it's been existing ever since, diba? If we see how our sun compared sa mga supernova, yung sobrang laking star, talagang so, hindi natin maintindihan. And to think na what our telescope can fathom, yun lang yun. And yun nga, yung smallest particles then. And the second item here is that God loves us and He wants a personal relationship with us. So nakita nyo, hindi lang tayo basta kinreate ni God. Binigyan niya rin tayo ng, abil- ng, ng environment to sustain us. No? Na, so, di ba, kung, kung God is tired of, like, what yung minsan na sinasabi ng, ng kalaban, ni Satan na hindi siya magaling or hindi siya, he doesn't want what's best for us. Um, makikita natin dito that even just with the food, di ba, yung mga fruits na kinakain natin, yung mga vegetables, na open time, sinasarap naman ng manggang to. <laughs> yung yung mga simple things na binigay sa atin ng Panginoon. Um, and dito natin makikita na it, it's just difficult for us to imagine sometimes um, what the world teaches us, di ba? Kasi oftentimes, if someone's so powerful, how can be, he can how he can be so caring for us? Paano siya mag-iisip sa atin is sobrang powerful niya? Which is, oftentimes, yan yung sa ano natin, di ba? Sa, sa environment natin, sa world natin kapag nandun na yung president or yung ano, oftentimes hindi naman siya nag, nag-ano talaga sa mga janitor or yung mga yung sa, sa ano, sa tao sa baba. So, God can both be powerful and at the same time be loving for us and even, even sa gospel sinasabi, diba? Even the strands of our hair nakakang how much more yung mga ginagawa natin. So, lahat yun na, nakikita ng Panginoon. And third, um, creation teaches us that we can trust God. So, basically, with all the characteristic ni God, na He is powerful, He knows everything, He knows the beginning from the end, and the reason that He loves us is enough for us to trust Him. Kasi, oftentimes, we, we don't know what's going on in our lives. We don't know what will happen tomorrow. We don't know with, with so many problems that nangyayari sa atin. But we know na we can, we can trust Him because lahat alam niya eh. And alam natin na mahal niya tayo. So, what, what more is there? Um, and also, creation teaches us to be grateful. You know? To be grateful for um, for the things that God gave us. So, God gave us the capacity to appreciate the intellect, the discernment, to appreciate the beauty of creation, um, the beauty of God's provision. Um, Mayroon story na yung a man who was crying because he, he was in a hospital. Was, he needs to be in, my incubate yung for oxygen. And the doctor told him, oh, you have to pay $5,000 a day just for the incubation. So he cried. So the doctor asked, um, did you cry because uh, you have to pay this much? And sabi niya, no. I cried because all these years God had provided for me free. And yet, parang I didn't appreciate it. And now, as being tied to this bed, you now is the only time that I am able to appreciate it. So, yun. So, creation teaches us to be grateful. And the next one is the gift of rest. Not to be too busy or to be caught up with the busyness of life that we fail to stop and appreciate yung beauty that surrounds us. And rest is also is God's gift to us. And lastly, the promise of restoration of Eden. So, when sin entered the world, things started to decay. Men surrendered the dominion of this world that allows imperfection and even death. Death is inevitable. And yung creation is the contrast of the things that is going on now in the world. Diba? Yung nakikita natin on, on how life now, yung war, um, famine, and currently wildfire, di ba, sa Kelowna, sa Maui, sa, sa Hawaii, nakita natin, um, typhoon, flood, there's just too many things that's going on in the world right now. And even, and not only that, but, you know, the multiplication of wickedness. 
we have to be mindful even if you look at the news sa atin sa Philippines di ba on how even yung yung family is being affected by it um, through social media yung guilt yung jealousy and all that and even yung yung family na broken um, so yun so yung diseases yung COVID di ba recently din yun so um, with all of these things God promised to restore Eden and even more Sabi niya sa Revelation, He will wipe every tear from their eyes. No more deaths or mourning or crying or pain. Sabi niya na, What no eye have seen, what no ear have heard, and what no human mind can conceive, the things that God prepared for those who love Him. So, we just have to be hopeful. We just have to continue having that faith. Sabi nga, um, yung hope naman hindi yun something na makikita mo. Kaya ka nag-hope kasi hindi, wala, hindi pa dumarating sa'yo. And God is faithful. And God said na, i-restore niya ito lahat. So, kahit na masakit ang kasupasuhan natin ngayon, medyo may mga atritis na, ano lang, keep hoping sa Panginoon. And syempre, each one of us have our own trials and each one of us have our own challenges sa buhay. Um, yun, continue holding on to God kasi sabi niya, i-restore niya ang ilan and we need to have faith because without faith it is impossible to peace um, so yeah so when all have been heard the conclusion of the matter is this fear God and keep his commandments because this is the whole duty of mankind so yun sa Ecclesiastes 12 so, and so let us uh, bow our heads and pray for God's best dear Father in heaven we are just grateful for today that you have given us an opportunity to to hear your word, dear Father, to study your word, and to get to know you more. Dear Father, we know that there's just too many distractions in the world right now. There's just too many things that wanted to, to ruin your name or to ruin your character before us. We pray that you continue to strengthen us, dear Father. Continue to, to place that seed in our heart to continue to seek you. Because even if we know that we know everything, I know that you, God, is uh, the, the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end, and you know everything, dear Father. And so we pray that you continue to to, 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 to put that seed in our hearts, that we continue to, to continue to seek you, dear Father. And then only then that we will taste and see your goodness, taste and see that you are a great God who loves us and who's always there for us. And so we pray for our brothers and sisters as well who's listening here. We pray that um, you continue to guide us, dear Father, as we continue on with our, our daily chores, that we may not forget to take rest also, as you have um, told us. And this we ask in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Hello. You? Are we blessed? Amen. Grabe, no? It's awesome. Thank you, Sis Mai Mai, for your life. God is good all the time. It was wonderful. The message of the, the, uh, the, like the lesson of the message today is God created everything in your needs. He already blessed you with everything, right? With the fast pace. With all the things happening in this world, God doesn't God doesn't want you to be scared. In all these things, the only thing we are scared because probably we don't have God in our lives. Amen. But the rest, I like that. I like that picture. <laughs> the rest thing, no? So I just want to leave a. Remember, when God created the universe and all these things, do you think uh, God is by himself when he created this? Huh? Huh? He's with what? He's with Jesus. Do you believe that? You see that in Genesis 2. The first, the first, the first, chapter God created this God created but in chapter 2 Lord the Lord God is with Jesus that's why God
God created, when God said, we, uh, we, we, uh, we will create this uh, mankind in our own image. It's not my own image, but God and Jesus are partners together. That's why don't neglect Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ is our Lord and Savior. But most of all, God is the, the God of everything. That's why, brothers and sisters, think about it. Find yourself a rest. I'm not saying work is bad, but overwork is bad. <laughs> bad for your health, but bad, your fa bad for your family, bad for, I think, so everything is accessible to the, that's bad, right? Excessive is bad. So, praise God, no? And with all the typhoon, the forest fire, and all these things, God is saying one thing. You will find it in 1 John chapter 2, verse, I believe, 17. Yeah. There, yeah. It's chap 1 John chapter 2, verse 17. He says here, Though the world and its desires will pass away, but whoever does the will of God, lives forever that is what god wants you to know take note of that remember it's not about it's not about uh the possession it's not about the richness it's not about it's about you and god god wants you to live forever i saw i saw a picture rich the rich man and the poor man well you can see that you can see the difference the rich man has everything, and the poor man has this thing. But when they die together, they're the same, six feet under. Amen? But we don't want you to bear it, to die and decay. But God wants you to have everlasting life to the eternity. That's the reason why God wants you to live. All God's creation is wonderful. It's good and it's pleasing. And don't, well, I'm not saying science is bad, but stick to God, amen? Because you are, like I said, you are fearfully and wonderfully made. You are created in God's own image. If your image is bad, uh, I don't know whose God is that, right? But brothers and sisters, the message, the moral message of the story is Let's go back to God. Amen? Think about it. It's not, a, it's not me or my, my or other leaders. It's you. It's between you and God. We are a messenger from the Lord to share the good news. And I thank God for your lives. Amen? All right, let us all pray again. Thank you. Hallelujah, Lord. Thank you, Lord God, for the life of sis my, my, Lord God. Thank you for using her, Lord God to share your words, Lord God, and to open our eyes, Lord God, that all the things that you have created, Lord God, is wonderful, Lord God. The blessing that you have given us, Lord God, is there, Lord God. It's a matter of how we, are, we will accept it and appreciate it, Lord God. It's not about we don't have time. It's not about I can do it. It's a matter of the, our priorities, Lord God. If we priority, prioritize you first, like you said in your word, if we seek you first, your righteousness, your kingdom, and all the good things, the best things, Lord God, that comes from you, from you, Lord God, you will give it to us, Lord God. We are blessed, Father, but sometimes we don't look at that way. We look at it our own way. We forget that your ways is higher than our ways. And our thoughts is not higher than your thoughts, Lord God. But sometimes we forget that I am the best. We are the best. We forget that we are nothing. But we became something. 
because of your son, Jesus Christ. Only Jesus, Father. We don't care anymore what's in this world, Lord God, that the enemy will give us, Lord God. But we care for the people who needs the word of God. Use us, Father, to share your words to them, Lord God. It's, it's not the, it's, it doesn't matter, Lord God, whatever, what churches are we in, Lord God. It's not about the churches anymore, Lord God. Kahit, kahit saan church pan kami, Lord God. Whatever we go through church, it's not the issue of the church anymore. It's an issue of the heart, Lord God. We are only serving one God, Lord God. And that is you, Father. Use us, Lord God. Use us mightily in your works, Lord God, your plans, Lord God. We thank you, Lord God, because not right now, Lord God, we know you, what your plans for us, Lord God. What about the people that doesn't know you? Doesn't know that they will die and they will decay, Lord God. There's only one, there's only two ways, Lord God, that we will go after we die. It's only heaven or hell. That's for us to choose, Father. But for the people that doesn't know you, Lord God, and no one will share how they will know you if no one will share the word of God. Raise up, Lord God, mighty leaders, Lord God, especially in the field of ministry of evangelism, Father. Use them, Lord God, to share your words to them, Lord God. Thank you, Lord God. And all the people who are here, Lord God, raise them up, Lord God, to be a good leaders, Father. Not just in this church, but in their household, in their work, in, the, in their business, outside, Father. Use them, Lord God. Thank you, Lord God. This we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. Thank you. So we proceed to our tithes and offerings. Who's tithes and offering today? Amen. Praise God. Thank you, Sis Mai, for that wonderful message. Indeed, that we forgot sometimes. We are so occupied on our own self. Uh, dito sa, here in Deuteronomy 15.10, as I said earlier, that give generously to them and do so without a grudging heart. Then because of this, the Lord your God will bless you in all your work and in everything you put your hand to. Amen. We know that God give us all the strength. Uh, God also says that in Deuteronomy that He is the one who gives us wisdom to produce wealth. He gives us strength so that we can go rise up in the morning and go to work. And He is the one who will encourage us if we are really, really conscious on His presence. Because sometimes, even me, I uh, just drug myself when I work like, uh, like five or six days in a week. I said, Lord, it's morning again. Please extend the hours so that I could have more sleep. But I really praise and thanks God that in spite of that, He gives me strength to go on. And really, if we just give our tithes assess in Second Corinthians, not only in our tithes, but our times and our offering to God. In Second Corinthians, that is always we are using that in 2 Corinthians chapter 9, verse 8, And God is able to bless you abundantly, so that in all things at all times, having all that you need, you will abound in every good work. Then God says, aside from that in 7, that God loves a cheerful giver. Uh, I will testify to that, that indeed, God says if we put God first, if we seek Him first, everything will be added unto us. Not only material possessions, but everything. It's just like, I I really praise and thanks God because when I start giving, not only here, but I won't say anything because that is only me and God. When I start giving, it's just like, there's, there's a peace, there's a joy, there is a grateful heart that will abound that it's just like 
you could not explain it. It's just like, even though uh, you need this because you have somebody that needs that, there is a lot of, you know, we have due date every month, but when we put God first, it's just like God will give you peace and joy that God says that he will give us the assurance that don't worry, my child, because I'm your God. Just give it to me because God says, if you love me, you will obey what I command. Amen. So indeed, if we obey God, it says there in Deuteronomy also that all the blessings, when we, there is an obedience really, blessings will follow us. It will, even, he will, what's this? He will go first before you. Yes. Because it's just like we honor God because God is so good unto us. God says if we honor him, he will honor us and if we will bless him, he will bless us because we obey whatever he says in his word. So I really praise God for that, that sometimes I have only five or ten dollars on my checking, but the peace and joy money could not buy Amen. in his presence. I really testify for that. So thank you so much. I encourage each one of us. Uh, remember that finances is just here on earth. God uses that for the expansion of his kingdom to support our pastors and every day. Nah, we use that for his glory. God knows our hearts. God sees what's really in our hearts. If just somebody says, just says that we need to give, then you give that, but your heart is murmuring and it's grudgingly, it's not, it's under compulsion and you did not give that out of love for him because somebody tell you, you need to give the 10% then, but without God's love, it's useless, my brothers and sisters. So thank you, God, for that. We really praise God, we will pray. Our most gracious Heavenly Father, God, thank you so much, O oh Lord, for your goodness. Indeed, Lord, we could not give you because you gave your Son and only Son for us first. But thank you so much for that, Lord, because you teach us how to give generously, po, Panginoon, not only unto this ministry, but there's a lot of things that we can give outside, oh God, to reach our brothers and sisters in need, oh Lord. And thank you so much. Continue, Lord, to bless the work of our hands and help us, Lord, not to forget that in everything we do, we did it all, God, for your glory. Lord, thank you so much. The life of your children that are here, continue to be with them. Whatever, oh God, na pinagdadaanan po nila, Panginoon, patuloy, oh Dios. Help us, oh God, to intentionally seek you, to put you first, oh God, in everything, Lord. Help us, oh God, give us wisdom that comes from your word. Thank you so much, Lord. Bless the one that gave, and bless the one, Lord, the gift that we will give unto you, oh God, that... Lord, you will be pleased po, Panginoon, sa lahat ng aming bibigay sa iyo because we don't owe anything, oh God. You have, you, sa lahat po, Panginoon, it is yours, oh God, and thank you so much. Even for this time, Lord, that we can worship you in spirit and in truth Amen. freely. Thank you so much, oh God, for the freedom. Lord, there's a lot of people that indeed, Lord, they have the desire to worship you in public, but Lord, you could not do that because they are prohibited. But thank you for their lives, Lord, that indeed they encourages unto us that they will give our time for you. The one that you gave us, oh God, we will give it back to you, oh Lord. Thank you so much, oh God, to you all the glory. There is praise and honor in Jesus' name. Amen. All right, hello. Saglit lang po, bago ang ating uh, presentation. No, one announcement lang po tayo bilang maraming Natapos na ating mga events. So, ay, bago yun. For uh, donations po online, interact at donations at winnovascotia.church, meron din po tayong um, box doon for those who will donate via cash. So, moving on po sa ating announcement. Uh, so, one uh, event lang that we would like to invite everyone. So, I've posted this in our uh, announcement group chat. So, our friends from uh, CFC uh, Church, ano ba yung CFC? <laughs> Couples for Christ. Couples for Christ um, and the Uncop Canada. So, Uncop Canada is answering the cry of the poor. It's a global organization. They have a, they always do an annual fundraising event. This is not just done in Canada, but globally. 
Uh, so that program is actually a uh, fundraising to help children in the Philippines, like sponsorship for their education. So like maybe that's the background uh, of what that funding is. So they've invited us to join and support that initiative. Uh, as I posted in the link, there's a link on how you can donate directly. So it's just like uh, parang yung mga fun run na you donate and then you walk. Parang ganun siya na concept. Uh, so that event will happen on August 26 at... Bedford Hammonds Plains Community Center. So that that's one way of uh, as we as this Alma have mentioned, there's a lot of ways that we can uh, show our stewardship sa mga blessings ni Lord. So that's one way. But again, for those, it's not all financial donation that you can provide. You can also come and support that that event po is for free. And on top of that, our win men's uh, group. Men's, men's basketball team will be, will be there participate, participating. So again, that's one way of stewardship. They supported the event by participating as a basketball team. So let's join and um, support them if we can and are available. And lastly, another way of, um, as mentioned by Pastor, in I relate ko lang everything that we've been talking about here. One way of evangelization is joining uh, booths. Uh, so that way, in that event, we will have a win booth. So just like what we did with the heritage, we'll be setting up a booth and then we will have um, tracks that we can share. And we can uh, talk about what we do in church and encourage people, pray for them at that time. So these are the ways that we can you know, uh, to stewardship and sharing with God's word. Uh, thank you. More details, just let me know. Thank you. Amen. Uh, please support this, no? It is for God's glory, no? We, we are here to help people, especially the needs, right? So to evangelize as well. This is the time for you to share the word of God. Amen. So I believe, sis, no, yung uh, mar marathon ba yan? Walk, there's a twenty-five twenty-five dollars donation. What is twenty-five, right? Each. Each, bro. <laughs> you have to pay for your walk. For the cost. Amen? But the benefit of that is you will be healthier. <laughs> Amen? Praise God. Thank you, sis, uh, sis says for sharing that. And... Without further ado, there's, I believe there's more, no? Graduation? Amen. I, I would like to call on you, no? Hello. Yeah, good afternoon, everybody. And um, in line with our uh, successful BBS, Thursday, Friday, uh, we have accomplished a lot of um, good memories as well. That's why next year, we decided we will go to Kuala Lumpur. Then open the beaver bank. We will open the Kuala Lumpur. Yeah. So now um, there's some kids that are moving up. Unfortunately, two of them uh, are not around. So we would like to call on Kiel so that we can pass. Well, Justin will turn over Kiel, Daniel, and also Sam to be in our junior youth. A picture. Wala mo kung picture kung kuya. Kuya, si Pastor na lang. Si Tita. Junior youth be flo be flourished, and with God's grace, you will be a perfect child of God. Amen. Thank you, guys. Actually, actually, it's not just Kel. I think there's two, no? Daniel and Sam. Amen. No, three, three kids are now junior youth. Amen. 
Praise God for your life. And thank you, uh, Kuya Chastin, for accepting the, <laughs> the youth leading. Amen for your life. And thank you so to uh, Sis Princess. No? Sis Princess has been with us for, for many years. Now she's letting Chastin lead the youth. Praise God for your lives. See? God is moving in, uh, is lifting up people. I'm praying for Queen Justin. So, Justin, are you ready to be uh, the youth pastor? Yeah. Uh, well, let's pray for that. Again, amen? So, there's two more, okay? I uh, just want you to watch this video. Kasi nakita ko na nag-enjoy sila, 
and lahat ng church member, although mainit, game na game sila to play the games and during camping, everyone was sharing like like ng food nila and resources. Kaya it's such a blessing. Can someone open the lights, please? Thank you. Yes. See, this is God's people. Amen? Praise God. I cannot do it without you. You did it all. Amen? To God be the glory. Thank you for your life. Thank you for your time. Thank you for your talent and gifts. Amen? So, I would, as we continue, I told you there's two presentation. I would like to call on... Who's, the, who's leading? Isa! Come on! Isa! Hindi, hey, ano? Young, uh, youth at uh, children muna. Children muna. May children eh, di ba? Pero ba? Wala. Ah, wala? Ay, ayun na pala. Sorry, na, na, I misinformed. Alright, I will call on Isa. Isa naman. We're going to the youth. Calling for all youth members. Go, go, go! Formation, formation, formation. Formation, formation, formation. Finding our identity po. And to find our identity, we need to search in our heart po who we really are. And we need to connect with God po, with our relationship with the Lord. So this song po is, the very definition po, 
and I hope on uh, you find you read through the lyrics po to truly understand what we're trying to convey po through this song. Uh -huh. <laughs>
Youth. Actually, it's an original composi composition, right? Who composed this? Isa! Wow! Praise God for your life, Isa. It's a wonderful song. Amen. Actually, this youth are one of the bread and butter of this church. Amen for your life. The kids, the youth, lastly, us. <laughs> Amen. But praise God. And by the way, thank you for the wonderful video. I know it's a long overdue. Thank you for the life of Marcos. Marcos, thank you for doing that. Praise God for your life. And thank you all. I cannot utter, uh, I cannot fathom what God is putting in your life, no? Me and my wife, uh, we would like to thank you from the bottom of our hearts. Amen? Without God, we are nothing, but I know God is in your life. Amen? So, last song before we, before we uh, adjourn, but let's all stand and receive the blessing from the Lord. Amen. Don't forget. You are blessed. Say that. You are blessed. I am blessed. Yes, amen. Yes and amen. So may the Lord bless you and protect you. May the Lord shine on you and be gracious to you. And may the Lord show you His favor all the time and give you His eternal peace. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Let's all sing the class song. Praise God, praise God. Amen. Let us sing our victory song before we end our service. <laughs>
and sisters, before uh, last thing, I forgot to thank my board. Come on, I thank God for the, my, board, my board president. Let, where's the board of our church? Amen. Without you, this is not possible. Amen. Praise God for your life. I know you're there. Thank you for your life. Thank you, uh, Brother Joel, Sis Cess, Sis Irene, Sis Angie, Sis Micah. Thank you for your life. Amen. Praise God. So see you next week. God bless you all.